Hey guys and welcome to my channel and welcome to this video. Today we will be painting two Christmas cards. So winter series is officially starting. I will be using this watercolor paper from Strathmore Vision and this one is 140 pounds. It is 300 GSM and it is 100% cellulose watercolor paper. And I will also be using this. This is um, I guess the top of the lid that just broke and I'm using that as a template to do my circles. Today we will be putting uh, some circles, watercolor circles on top of our cards and that will be our start. Also we will be using some ink pens. I'm just looking, this is 05 from Micron ink pen. We will be using some ink pens, of course watercolors and some brushes but first let's just start with mixing our paint and I have some clean water here I will just mix my paint first I want to put a little bit of the red here actually quite amount of red I haven't sprayed my paint so it's just a tiny bit harder to pick them up From my palette, I would need a little bit more of the tries. Let's just do that. Let's just get some clear, clean water and spray on top of our watercolors just to activate them with water. So just putting in that red. I want quite amount of red, and I'm gonna add tiny bit of the water here also so like that and I will also put here a little bit of this brownish mix those two colors together and next to it I will put uh, pick up some Violet. I'm, I'll put it here because I do want a uh, surface large enough so I can just put my circle inside and pick up the paint again I do want quite an amount of that violet so like that a little bit more like that and I also want to pick up a little bit of this brown mix those two together like that I love that color see how beautiful that color is just gonna pick up a little bit more of the violet a little bit more of that brown mix those two together I'm gonna put a tiny bit here also just to I guess connect those two colors and to have a little bit of violet here also so they can speak to each other <laughs> like that and now we can just move on and pick up with this uh, with this lid and of course if you have anything else that it's round you can use it here we'll see if it's gonna work but yeah it looks nice and I'm gonna put one more next to it maybe one more next to it so like that doesn't have to be perfect and I also want to put one here a little bit more just gonna put it doesn't have to be perfectly set on that one it's even better if it's not like that and I will put here, tiny bit here, a bit more like that. Put in the fourth one, just a bit lower. So this is fun, this is simple. You don't have to think about doing the circles, right? They just like that come 
so let's just put that a little bit on the side and I will pick up the red I'm gonna do basically the same thing with red like that first let me just just try something I will just spray around some clean water that's what I'm gonna do here I'm gonna add just a clean water on top it will move the paint slightly where still or is still wet it will just give a lovely lovely blooms you don't have to go add too much but just to I guess move those circles super fun so let's just pick up this and continue with the second one I'm gonna put that here and since I have added a little bit of water there when my lid touches the water it will just see how it just bleeds beautifully like that so you have one uh, one way of doing it first do those circles and then on top add water or you can just sprinkle with the water and then add on top watercolors and where they touch the water they will just bleed and what I will do is get a tiny bit of that color and I'm gonna just slightly splatter it around and I'm gonna pick up a tiny bit of this color and again splatter it around like that so also for this one I will just add on the right side lines like that and also on this one that will be later on our shadows here just on those sides like that so there you go we will just either leave it to dry or dry it yourself so that's just up to you I'm gonna use a hair dryer and dry that so these are now fully dry I dried them with the hair dryer and now we will just use the ink pen first I will start with this one and we're gonna just do a couple of embellishments there first I want to add the top so I'm gonna put it there it doesn't have to be so your top doesn't have to be I guess same as mine like that it doesn't have to be same for all of them also like that and then I'm gonna put them on here so like that that's gonna be where our little balls I guess ornaments are hanging from and now I will just add the circles a couple of times I'm gonna go over if you don't feel comfortable doing that sort of circles you think you're gonna go way overboard way outside of the lines I am going way outside of the lines but if that's not what you like you can just use your template so like that put it here and just go around if you want to clean edges I don't I don't want clean edges I usually never do so I'm gonna put in here those shades I told you like that so like that and then I'm gonna start doing my embellishments around my cute little ornaments so I will add maybe I'm gonna add a star here maybe one more I'm gonna put in a couple of stars all around so some will have stars like that and also I will add some circles here and there so you don't have to place them
you know, same distance or try to place them at the same distance. Like that. Just gonna put in maybe a couple all around. Like that. Couple next to each other. So, like that. That's gonna be my embellishments. Just looking whether I wanna add something more. Maybe I wanna add a wiggly lines around a couple of them. That's those embellishments are completely up to you. Just you can do whatever you like, like that. And I will also get white Posca pen. I'm just gonna add a couple of details also with that white Posca pen. So a couple of embellishments maybe where I have added those previous ones. Just put in a few details because I guess I can, right? Like that. So let me just get a little bit more of the paint. Same paint I used. And I'm gonna do just a few splatters, maybe a very light and just paint a couple of them. Like that. Not gonna paint all of them, but just a few of them. like that and I do bet all of you have scissors my larger one aren't really next to me but if you have a larger one you can use a larger one and I do want to just you know ruin my edges <laughs> here like that also here just gonna make them broken some parts I also want to make them see just rip edge like that so just ripping them you can fold them also let's just play around with that so like that I'm gonna put that one aside for now for it to dry and I'm gonna move on to the second one again I will go I will do circles this one and this one and on this one I will leave those two without without the lines of the edges just to make them slightly diverse, right? Why not? We can do whatever we like. So like that. And again, I do wanna add a bit more details here. I'm gonna put, just looking, I'm gonna put here, maybe some ornaments like that and I will put well I guess here those leaves something different than on the other one right here also I want to put in that leaf goes on this side like that and on this side like that and I want to put here maybe this is this looks like a um, holiday gift maybe one more gift here 
just as an embellishment like that just gonna put in whatever I feel like bow maybe maybe one more bow here like that and I'm gonna do well I guess I want to do maybe something like some winter florals doodles like that and maybe poof I'm just looking what for I want to add as an embellishment like that and I want to add maybe just something like this here and here maybe one here like that because why not like that and also I'm gonna get a little bit of the white Posca pen I'm just gonna add here maybe here and there some white and what we can do this time is get the white and just do a few splatters with white and I will do a bit more of the splatters with the color I used previously and if you like you can just smudge that splatters you've added right now also in a few spots like that again let's just do a tiny bit of ripping you can now just I suppose well if you have any stress or anger in you just bring it out and again I'm gonna rip this and I'm gonna rip this here so like that and what I will do next is get more of that paint and just go on some of the edges like that maybe on these ribs also like that and for the first one same thing I'm gonna pick up the paint I used go on the edges you don't have to go all on all edges just up to you where you like it or like to add it so like that what next I will do is what next I will do is get another piece of paper it's, that's just the same paper and I'm gonna get that one out like that and well I guess I had to go to get my scissors so I will just cut one line I'm gonna cut it in half like that just let me check yep that's gonna be good move them and now I will just again get a little bit more of that paint I used I'm gonna go over the edges that's the first one this is the second one I guess or the first one just gonna go again over the edges like that and let's just leave that to dry or dry it with a hair dryer that's just up to you you can of course use here some printing paper and then uh, on top of the printing paper 
uh, maybe print some text and then glue it on top of a watercolor paper. I will just write on top. First is going to be Mary. Christmas. Merry Christmas. And the second one is going to be Happy Holiday. Holidays. And we can just put in maybe a few hearts or if you like. You can just put in something like a um, present there. That's just up to you. Do a couple of dots. Also, a couple of embellishments. Like that. So I just, I'm just looking and maybe we can just make that put this one here and this one here yeah we could do that looks better maybe then it's just up to you you can put uh, you can just mix them and put the one with the lighter edge here and one with the darker edge here or just other way around and you know what i'm gonna do i will get a little bit of the black tiny bit of the black And I just picked up the wrong paint and I'm going to put a little bit of the black on the edges like that. Just to emphasize the edge, not going to go all around, just in some parts of the edge like that. You don't have to do that if that's if that doesn't feel very Christmassy to you, you don't have to do that. So I will just get, well, uh, what, what, I, what I would put beneath those two. If you have a little bit of that uh, thicker foam, I have this foam um, glue. But if you don't have something like that, you can just use a regular, you know, oops school glue and glue it with the school glue. I do like the idea to have it slightly um, upper, slightly looking like a 3D. So I will just put that, just looking where I wanna put it, maybe here. It's gonna be a little bit more visible like that. And also I'm gonna put that on this card. It's still slightly wet, so just I guess I'm gonna I'm smearing it and smudging it. You can dry that before you do this. Just gonna remove these and I'm gonna see if I wanna put that one on top or maybe in the center, maybe here. Yeah, I'm going to put that one here, like that. So, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. Let me just get the card. So, I have here cards. And I will put one on top of this and the other one on top of this. I'm usually gluing that with uh, just a clear, clear uh, two-sided uh, tape and that's it that's gonna be our first quite simple quite simple simple cards so I hope you like this idea you know it's very very simple enough for you to give it a try and super fun so you can do any embellishments you like so hopefully you enjoyed this video you're gonna give this a try you have a new idea 
for your uh, for your Christmas cards. And guys, thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't still, please do subscribe to my channel. That would be awesome. I have over 400 tutorials there, so I'm sure you will find something for yourself. And also, if you do like this video, hit the like button, share it, and please do the comment, give me a heart or whatever you feel. That would be awesome. Your comments will give a boost to my video. And of course, at the end, to my channel. And again, thank you so much for watching, for joining in today. And I hope I will see you next time. Bye.